In this video, I'll talk about five hidden toxins you must stop exposing your dog to, and later, how feeding your dog a healthy kibble diet reclaims your dog's health from toxins and chronic health issues. Hi, I'm Dan Scott, canine nutrition and home remedy specialist. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button below to stay in touch with all the latest videos that I do. And feel free to comment or ask questions below. You may be surprised to learn that just about everything around you in your home, yard and work environment has zero regulation in its manufacture. Everything you touch that isn't food is created with unregulated chemicals such as plastics, furniture, electronics, fabrics, carpets, yard care products, household cleaning products, even clothes and makeup. There's no research, no oversight, not even a thought to the environment or the health of the people and animals that live in it. Just a rapacious business model flooding the world with tens of thousands of toxic and deeply harmful chemicals. And for our dogs, who are even more susceptible than us, even their food is far less regulated than ours, so they are right on the edge of survival in our toxic world, and so we must take steps to protect them or become the dreaded statistic no pet parents want to face, and that's today nearly 60% of dogs die of cancer. Chronic toxicity in dogs today is at record levels and your dog's skin absorbs everything it touches, including the fire retardant chemicals in that new carpet, breathes in the vapors from that new, newly painted kitchen, or licks petrochemicals from their paws after walking the urban environment. And all before ingesting the chemical additives in kibble and being flooded with chemicals from flea and tick control agents, dewormers, vaccines, and antibiotics. And with this in mind, here's five ways to minimize toxins in your home and how you can help reduce the toxic load that your dog faces. And number one is to reduce plastic use. Always feed your dog from stainless steel or ceramic bowls, including drinking water. And be careful to use natural fiber dog toys, natural chews like deer antler, not nyla bones and animal hide products. And think about your furniture. Can you factor in natural furniture products or natural fiber carpet and paint with water-based paints? And number two is to eliminate as many artificial products as possible. Think about things such as fragrances and perfumed products like plug-in air fresheners, as the toxins in these synthetic fragrances are similar in makeup to pesticides and easily absorbed into your dog's skin. And there's household and laundry cleaning products, personal care products, yard products like lawn care treatments, weed killers and slug pellets. The list can go on, but I think you get the picture that to keep your dog's exposure to toxins limited, you must think about how you can clean up your home and yard. Number three is cutting back on pesticides, including vet drugs like dewormers and flea and tick control. House and yard pesticide and insecticide use with artificial toxic chemical based products such as Roundup really needs to stop altogether. The chemicals in weed killers like glyphosate end up in you and your dog, destroying healthy gut bacteria and lowering immunity to disease. There are natural alternatives to these chronic ill health causing and deadly products. And that includes dewormers and flea and tick control, neither of which should ever be allowed near your dog. And I'll leave links to the natural and effective alternatives in the description below. Number four is to use natural bedding for your dog. The artificial fibers used in bedding are toxic and sprayed with fire retardants linked to cancers, endocrine disruption and liver disease. Think cotton, leather and hemp as natural fibers good for bedding, collars and pet clothing. Wash all new products before using them with your dog to get that residue from fire retardants and anti-mold spray off the items and away from your dog. And number five is diet. If you can switch your dog's diet to home cooked or raw food diet, you'll have the control you want over what goes into your dog's body. And if for whatever reason you can't feed these diets, I fully recommend you feed your dog a healthier kibble diet to really help cut down on the less than desirable additives in kibble, fix up chronic ill health conditions and boost your dog's immunity to disease. Feeding your dog a healthier kibble diet is the key to less oxidative stress, much reduced stress on your dog's liver, better vitamin and mineral and enzyme intake, and reducing chronic ill health. And that's why I created the Healthy Kibble Diet, to help kibble feeding dog owners reclaim their dog's health from those day-to-day -day health issues that plague so many dogs. Dog health issues that include vitamin and mineral deficiency, allergies, blocked anal glands, diarrhea, yeast infections, ear infections, skin and coat problems, hot spots, arthritis, and poor digestion. And you'll find a link to a video explaining more about the Healthy Kibble Diet in the description below. 
for much improved all-round health by supplying your dog's body with a boosted healthy kibble diet to ensure they're getting more of the vital nutrients missing from a regular kibble-only diet. You now have a fantastic opportunity for your dog to enjoy richer health and longevity. It can be a tough ask to rethink your household consumption of regular products you've been using for years, but if we don't change our practices, it's us and our pets that suffer longer term. So begin freeing your personal world of toxins and the whole family wins with greater long-term health and longevity. And if you found this video useful, please remember to like it and share it with friends and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos that I do. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.